Hey Clover fam, let's face it, everyone loves a good rewards program. That sweet feeling of racking up points, knowing free stuff is just around the corner, it's pretty darn motivating. But with Clover points, things can get a little confusing. You see a point number, but how much real money is that actually worth? Can you snag a fancy dinner with 1,000 points? Maybe a shopping spree? Today, we're cracking the code on Clover points and figuring out exactly how much that virtual loot translates to real-world cash. Buckle up, Clover crew, because we're about to turn points into profits. Understanding the point system. First things first, let's break down how you earn those precious points. Clover rewards you for all sorts of things, from simply signing up to linking your debit card and scanning receipts. There's even points for watching ads and taking surveys, although, Let's be honest, who actually enjoys those? The key thing to remember is that Clover points aren't a universal currency. You can't walk into a store and hand over a handful of points for a gallon of milk. Instead, Clover points unlock specific benefits within the app. Unlocking the power of points. All right, so how do we use these points? Here's where things get interesting. Clover points can be used for a few key things. Boosting cash advances, Need a little extra wiggle room on your next Clover advance? Points can help you unlock a higher advance amount. We're talking an extra $5 tacked on for just 200 points. That's like getting a mini discount on your advance. Waving goodbye to express fees. Let's face it, those express fees can sting. But fear not, Clover points come to the rescue. You can use your points to cover those pesky fees, essentially getting your advance instantly without the extra charge. Sweeping up some sweepstakes entries, feeling lucky? Clover points can be your ticket to entering some epic sweepstakes. Imagine, a chance to win $100 with just 50 points. Now that's what I call a points power move. The big reveal, earning your worth in points. All right, all right, I know what you're all waiting for, the big reveal. How much is $500 worth of Clover points? Well, it depends. Here's the breakdown. Cashing out for gift cards. If you're a Clover Plus member, which is totally free to join, by the way, you can actually redeem your points for gift cards. Here's the catch. 500 points gets you a cool $1 Amazon gift card. So, while $500 in points sounds impressive, it translates to a slightly smaller reward in the real world. The cash advance advantage. Now, if you're more interested in boosting your cash advances, the point value changes. Remember those 200 points for an extra $5 on your advance? With some quick math, that means 1,000 points would unlock an extra $25 on your advance. So, in this case, $500 worth of points holds a bit more weight. The points power play. Here's the takeaway, Clover fam. The value of your points depends on how you choose to use them. If you're a gift card fanatic, you might be disappointed with the conversion rate. But for those who love maximizing their cash advances, points can be a real game changer. The final verdict. So, is $500 worth of Clover points a windfall? Not exactly. But it's definitely a nice little boost, depending on your Clover goals. Remember, every point counts. Keep swiping that debit card, scanning those receipts, and watching those ads, if you must. Before you know it, you'll be a points pro, unlocking all the benefits Clover has to offer. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time, happy clovering.